Hi guys, in this video we are going to cover another basic data type uh, called dictionary. Uh, a dictionary is essentially a sequence of mutable elements. Uh, it's a key value pair of elements. Dictionaries are defined within curly brackets and its elements are separated by a comma while the key is separated from the value using a semicolon. Let's uh, start, let's start by defining our first dictionary. So we create a variable and we assign to it a dictionary. So we open the curly brackets and then we type uh, the first key, name, and then the value after the column, uh, which is another string. In this case, it's my name and then the age. Uh, 40 and then we use a comma and we specify another key uh, let's say job and then semicolon and we specify a, another value for this key which is developer and we can add another key and let's say skills and then uh, we define a list uh, which contains, let's say, Python, and then uh, what else? Uh, PHP, let's say PHP here, and then Laravel. <clears throat> what else? We can say PHTML5. Oops. CSS3 and uh, again <laughs> JavaScript and then we we can say we have our <clears throat> our dictionary so our dictionary is complete we can uh, do a lot of things with this uh, with, with this data type uh, a dictionary can contain all types of data types however its keys so these elements are limited to strings and numbers uh, while the value can contain anything pretty much anything uh, so let's see how we can access uh, elements um, of a dictionary and we do that using the key and we place the key inside the square brackets uh, or we use the cat method let's get started with that so access elements and let's say we want to grab the list of skills so we type use stats and then we open the square brackets and between the square brackets we type the key that we want to get so in this case skills of course we need to use the print function to see that in the file before running the file so we can run the file now and you will see that in this line we got all the elements inside the uh, where it is inside the skills uh, value so that bit of code let's say we want now to access the username so user stats and then again between square brackets we type the key in this case name we wrap that inside the print function and the same will be true now for the name so we got the skills first and then the name same order that we used here and the same is going to be true for the age and for the job you only need to replace the key so age and job and when you print this code will output all these four elements values for you uh, as i said we can also use the get method to um, grab elements so we can say that let's use again print function user stats so when you type a dot after the value, the variable that contains the dictionary, you will have access to all the functions and attributes of this um, 
data type. In this case, you see the first element is the get function. Uh, in this case, it's a method. So the get method, and between the parentheses, we can specify a key. In this case, I want to grab the skins again. And let's see what we got. We print it and boom, again, we got this list that has all the skills in it. Uh, so that's pretty much how you access element uh, in the dictionary. Um, but let's see what other things we can do. We can also get all the values or all the keys of a um, of a dictionary using the values and the key methods. So let's just one of these elements. So again, we wrap it inside the print function and we use the user as variable and then we use the is method. And we do the same for the other one. So both of these um, will return only the keys, so name, age, uh, job, and skills, and the other one for the keys, and the other ones for so the values method will return only the values of the dictionary, so Fabio40, developer, and the skills list. So let's print the code and see what happens. And we have an error no way okay uh, so the first line that you see is this dict keys a dict stands for dictionary uh, so dictionary keys and then inside a list we got all these strings in this case with the dictionary keys and same for the dictionary values we got a list that contains all these values for the dictionary. We will learn how to loop through these elements using uh, loops when we will study them, so later in the course. Uh, for now, let's move forward and let's see how to add elements to a dictionary. So, add elements, so we can add new elements uh, using pretty much the same um, syntax that we use here, but specifying a different key, so a key that doesn't exist yet. So user starts between square brackets, we define a, um, let's say, wife, a wife key, and we assign to this key uh, the value of Serena, and now when we print the user start, Again, we got, boom, this dictionary with the new element at the end, which is wife and Serena. And so we have added the new element to the dictionary. It's pretty much easy, isn't it? So now, uh, what, what we want to do uh, next is to uh, update, uh, update elements in the dictionary. So we can assign a new value uh, to an element using the equal sign, pretty much in the same way we created a new element. So let's see, update elements, elements. So we use the same syntax, so user stuff. Then let's say we want to change the job. So we want to be more specific. So we type the key and then the equal sign. And here we can say full stack developer, All right? And now when we print it, we will get the new value in the dictionary. So we print it, we execute the code, and you see here the job has a new value. Uh, so this job key, we assigned to the job key this value full stack developer. Next, we can use the update method on the dictionary element to extend uh, its content. So let's see 
it in action. Dictionary. So let's define first a dictionary. Let's say start. Then we say uh, username Fabio. And then let's say another thing it could be status. And we set it to true. And let's try to extend the user stats dictionary with these elements inside the stats dictionary so let's try to use user stats update method and within the parentheses we specify the dictionary that we want to add and then we print the user stats and we should get the dictionary with these two new elements. You see at the end of the dictionary we got the username Fabio and the status which is set to true uh, so kind of like log logged in status and we can set it to a boolean value so true uh, and what it does is actually um, accept the dictionary object as a parameter so these parameter inside the parentheses and uh, add the new dictionary to the end of the original dictionary. So let's see now how to remove elements. Of course, when you um, work with dictionaries, you want to be able to add the elements or remove elements. So to remove an element from the end of the dictionary, we can use the pop method. Sorry, not from the end. Um, you can remove uh, any elements using the key. So let's say user starts pop. And let's say you want to remove age. And then print dictionary again. And let's see what we got now. And boom, we got this new dictionary. And you see inside it, we don't have the age element anymore. So we got name, we got jobs, skills, wife, we got username and status, but the age element is gone now. Uh, so um, there is a lot of um, different operations that you can do with dictionaries. So I suggest that after the video you um, study the documentation, so you have a deeper overview of what dictionary are. But let's look at the um, last method that I want to show you. So other than removing elements, you might want to clear the entire dictionary content. So let's say user stats. So let's first say clear elements. So we grab the dictionary element, the dictionary, um, and then we use the clear method. So the clear method doesn't need any parameter. It works as you expect. So if we now print this variable, uh, you will see that we got an empty dictionary. So just the curly bracket. So. Um, um, Another option that you might have to clear the dictionary, so let's create it on top. So if I bring the dictionary here before calling the clear method user stats, of course you will see the dictionary. So you got the dictionary and then uh, the empty one, but we can clear it using another method. So let's just remove that and let's say you want to clear it using this method user stuff equal to an empty dictionaries so now when you print it so we run the code you will see that you still got an empty dictionary because you emptied it using this uh, this way or you can do the same thing using this other this other approach so you're free to choose between one of the other. Uh, in the next video, 
I will show you another basic data type called a tuble. Uh, I will see you there.